Hey, it's Visa, and I miss the old way of gaming. I don't mean to sound like an old fart, but the plastic experience doesn't feel the same without the paper experience. I mean, look at this empty hollow husk. How did it become like this? Soon enough, the games aren't even gonna be there anymore. Ah, ah video games. I love them. They've been a part of my life since I was three years old, and I just can't get enough of them. Wait, what? Yeah, my folks thought it was a good idea to get their three-year-old a GameCube. And now, I'm stuck like this. They just took one look at me when I got out of the womb, man. <laughs> yeah, he's the gamer. So I've been huffing these hunks of plastic most of my life. However, more recently, I've come to realize how much I miss the manuals of gaming. They were a tried and true method to learning how to play a game before the internet became so mainstream. I always loved picking these puppies up and flipping through them, especially as a kid. I'd beg my folks to get a game at the store, rip the plastic off in the car, and have my eyes glued to that manual till I got home. However, let's be real here. No one reads these, but we appreciate them. They were something so fun to flip through. As a kid, I wasn't the greatest at reading, but I sure as hell loved the pictures, and the good ones always provided a ton of those. For the most part nowadays, I've really only picked them up, say that's neat, and put them back in their case to where they belong. See, you're part of the problem. This is why we don't have video game manuals anymore. Well, you might like them, you don't use them. So why would companies even want to put effort into making them? Most people just put the game straight into the system and start playing it and then throw the damn plastic box and manual into the unknown abyss called the shelf. I'm a manly man. I don't read maps or directions and I sure as hell don't read manuals. I didn't appreciate video game manuals until I got older and realized how great they really were. Now they're basically non-existent and usually serve as a premium bonus for select titles. Looking back now, they were something else. Dragon Quest VIII was the series' first adventure to 3D, and it was my first JRPG. I've dedicated so many hours playing this game. It holds such a special place in my heart, and I've never beaten it. What? <laughs> it's not that it's bad! I just have the attention span of a walnut! But man, did this game leave an impact on me. I always think about it, and I see it as one of my favorite games of all time. The manual is really something, too. If I read this as a kid, this game would have been being ages ago. It contains a prologue, the world map, character introductions, skills, items, and just about everything you could ever ask for. Especially the seven tips for adventuring. Dear Lord, did I need this as a kid. Everything it states are lessons I had to learn the hard way. Keep close to home? Nope. I've gotten lost and stranded outside till it was nighttime when everything was way more difficult and way more dangerous. Save often. I've died so many times with several hours lost and had the power go out on me. Talk to people. I'm antisocial! That was the last thing I wanted to do! This game also included a demo disc for Final Fantasy XII and a manual for said demo. They'd really put manuals for anything back then. Yeah, I know, right? It's a very small manual, but I'd like to imagine it did the trick for getting people excited for the next Final Fantasy. I decided to give it its own case since I don't remember where I put the case for Kingdom Hearts 2. I could honestly just stuff it in with my other copy of Kingdom Hearts 2, but that feels like sacrilege. I'm looking at you, Persona. Besides, I feel like that would give special treatment to KH2. Now, I can't be forgetting Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, and don't forget Kingdom Hearts. That one is really important. That's too much Kingdom Hearts. Don't be ridiculous. Almost all of them are the same game, so it's like having three. Manuals just give another chance to show off the art in a unique way that also gives instructions on how to play the game. It really is sad that they're dying out. We have small remnants of them through digital manuals, but it's just not the same. Nintendo went all in during the Wii U for these type of manuals. I wasn't a big fan of them getting rid of it, but I appreciate the thought they put behind the digital ones. They could have easily just slapped together something mundane, but it was still a unique experience. At the end of the day, my hands feel pretty empty. But companies have been replacing that emptiness with more on the inside of the case. Additional art covers. While it won't replace manuals, it is a nice alternative to someone who loves looking at cool things like me. It's sad to say, but manuals really are a thing of the past. While I do love them, I have to let them go. Unless it's included in the special edition.